Hi, I'm Brian Keller, and uh, we're here showing off Visual Studio Team System 2010 here at TechEd. Uh, so today I'll show you a quick demo of uh, Team Foundation Server branching and merging visualization. So Team Foundation Server already supports ro a robust model for branching and merging uh, your source code. Uh, but one of the problems is that as your as your branching complexity continues to grow, it can oftentimes become very difficult just to understand what your branch structure is and whether or not changes you made in one branch have actually been propagated to other branches as well. So if we take a look here, the first thing you'll, you'll notice if you're familiar with TFS 2008 is this new icon. So, so branches basically become what we call first class citizens. So you can upgrade a folder to a branch and then go to the properties and uh, we get some additional metadata we can set on here so I can describe what this particular branch is for so that everyone on, on the team knows this is where we make bug fixes or this is the code that gets uh, pushed out to production, things like that. We can have an owner, so if you have questions about who to talk to about the branch, we can start to see some visualizations of relationships, so how is this branch related to other branches, we can set granular permissions. Um, but actually a cool, vi cooler visualization is if you go to take a look at the hierarchy here, then you can quickly see uh, that you could have even a really complex branch structure represented in here. And then this might become documentation that you print out and hang on everyone's cubicles so that they know exactly uh, what they're working on. Uh, the other thing I'll show you is how you can actually determine whether or not a particular bug uh, or a work item might be a feature request has actually been merged to all the relevant branches. And so uh, because work items can be linked to change sets, which you can think of as your, as your atomic uh, measure for check-ins, then uh, you can actually take all of those all those bugs and look at the various change sets that uh, those are linked to and, and figure out whether or not those have been merged into uh, the appropriate branches. So in this case I'll, I'll look at this particular bug, let's say this is a critical bug fix that needs to happen. Um, I'll look at the branches that I care about, so maybe I just made the change to my development branch. I want to make sure that it gets out to my production branch, so I'll visualize this. And then right away I can see this nice diagram that shows me everything that's green in here indicates that that's where the, the change has been made. Um, anything that's uh, kind of this yellow-orange color indicates that it's a partial merge, as indicated there. Um, and so that means that, that I still have to merge additional uh, pieces of that bug fix forward. And then finally, this is, this, uh, pretend this is my production branch. None of this has actually been mer merged forward. Um, I can also take a, another look at this which shows exactly um, the history that uh, these changes were actually introduced in uh, this particular branch and they were merged forward partially to this branch and then finally I need to merge forward so if I want I could just you know click on here drag and drop and then that's there's my merge dialog and I get to uh, move my changes forward so that's just a quick demonstration of team foundation server branching and merging uh, we'll have the beta out very 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 soon so look for that and uh, check it out and let us know what you think